All right, welcome back to the channel. I had a viewer ask me to make a video on things to look for when purchasing a Humvee. So just kind of giving you a quick rundown on the history of the Humvee. So the Humvee came out, I want to say like 1984. It came with a 6.2 liter Detroit diesel with a three speed. They later moved to a 6.5 liter Detroit diesel with a three speed. And then they went to a 6.5 liter diesel with a four speed automatic transmission. And then the last version was a 6.5 turbo diesel with a four speed. The one you're looking at right now is a 6.5 liter with a four speed. This is the 1123. If you're going to purchase a Humvee, I suggest getting a 6.5 naturally aspirated with a four speed. And everything I've read and talking to other Humvee owners, this is probably the most reliable version. There are issues with the turbos. So if you're looking for reliability, I would say go with the 6.5 naturally aspirated. Four speed is the way to go as well. With a three speed, you're lucky to do 50, 55 miles an hour downhill. With the four speed, you can honestly, you can do about 70 miles an hour, no problem. And one way to be able to identify which transmission it has is if you look at the gear selector, if you see park, that means it is a four speed. So the three speeds do not have park. They actually only have reverse, neutral, drive, first and second. So that's one easy indicator. Um, mileage, mileage. So you can't really go off the odometer on the gauge cluster because they replace those all the time. So the best thing to look at is your actual vehicle tag. It'll actually tell you the last time it was worked on. Here we go. O odometer reading at the time of basically like remanufacturing was 38,417 miles. You actually come up and look at the odometer and it says 14,906. So you really can't go off of the odometer. So they will not be correct. They get replaced all the time. Some other things to look at is tires. Looking at if the tires are in good shape and how old they are. So they can be in good shape, but be old and dry rotted. So I bought this from a private seller. I did not buy this through Gov Planet. There's a lot of people that do. Um, honestly, I'm not sure if I would buy one from Gov Planet or not because you really don't know what you're getting. So it's kind of a gamble. Um, the one good thing about buying a Humvee from a private party is you can actually go take a look at it, you can drive it, you can really inspect it before you uh, drop your money on it. Again, in my last video I talked about if you buy one of these and you're not mechanically inclined, I suggest not getting one. They do require a lot of work and maintenance. And one thing I would say when you get your Humvee is to make sure you go over every little nut and bolt. Um, everything I have touched so far has not been torqued down at all. The drain plug for the oil was finger tight. The tie rod end was barely on. Um, just a lot, of, a lot of things not torqued to spec. So again, if you're not mechanically inclined, um, I would probably maybe buy a Jeep Wrangler. Um, I don't know everything about Humvees. I can only kind of share my knowledge and the things that I've learned so far. And again, if you're going to pick one up, I would get a, at least a four speed. Um, like I said, I can drive 70 miles an hour, no problem with uh, no issues. So any questions on anything uh, more detail I can answer, um, go ahead and uh, hit me up in the comments. Thanks for watching.